Hello everyone and welcome to the Governland YouTube channel. My name is Raul and today we will be going over installing software remotely with Governland. Uh, we'll be installing an EXE and MSI package, uh, package that we create with Governland. And then we're going to be going over the different locations in Governland where you can actually use it, uh, depending on if you need to install it uh, per machine or on a series of machines. Uh, so let's get started. If you come to the welcome screen, here we've added the Governland software packages uh, option. You can select the green plus and do new EXE package, or in this case an MSI package. So we're going to be installing here uh, the Adobe Flash Player via MSI. So we'll give the package a name and we can also give the uh, package uh, some sort of description. Um, for this case we'll be very creative and put the same thing again. So we're going to be installing an MSI. We have to provide the path to the package. This should be someone in network share um, that way the machines can access it when it's running. We're going to select transfer package to client and then run locally and now apply. Now we will create uh, a setup exe package. In this case we're going to install uh, Java 7 update 40 via its exe and again we will give it a description. and we'll select our EXE package from our network share. We're going to copy in here the argument string. Now it's important to note you have to look up the argument string uh, for your EXE. Uh, every software manufacturer might have it slightly different. You can use things like itninja.com to find uh, the silent install parameters that you would need for your EXE. You don't need to do this for MSIs because Governland understands uh, the silent install switches natively for MSI packages. So now we have our packages and we're going to come here into administration and diagnostic and in this case we're going to go to the software products because in, we may want to install uh, the software as a, on a single machine. So we can click the add new program link and you'll see that we have our software packages here. Uh, we can also add some new ones if we don't have it. So in this case I'm going to be adding the Flash Player. Governland is uh, going to install the Flash Player remotely and let me know that it's installed. Um, so there goes the Flash Player. It's installed on this machine. So that was an MSI push. So now what we're going to do is the EXE push. So we'll go ahead and select our Java package. Click Yes and then now it's going to run that installation on the target machine. It's going to use the parameters that you specified in the argument string for installing EXE. So make sure you do research your parameters and you test them thoroughly. So now this app, this uh, machine has both uh, installations uh, here ready for it. Um, we can also accomplish the same thing via a custom action. So we'll come here to custom actions and in our custom actions we're going to um, select add a custom action. We'll give this action a name such as uh, in this case we'll install Java. Now doing this in a custom action allows us to add some logic to this if we wanted to add a condition. Uh, in this case we'll do execute computer action. So here we'll do um, install software package. And now in our argument screen, we'll choose the package that we've created. So in this case, Java 7 Update 40, we'll click OK, click OK again, and then OK one more time. And now we have our custom action. Now this gives us a single double clickable object uh, that you can run on a machine uh, for it to uh, install the software. So just to prove it, here we don't have the uh, Java software installed. So now I'm going to double click, hit yes, and Governland will go ahead and, and install the software in the background. 
Um, so again, some of the benefits to using a custom action is that you can add some logic to it, such as some conditions, or you can uh, do complex actions such as uninstall version 39 and then install version 40. Um, so that's some of the benefits to using it as a custom action as opposed to just installing it from the software product screen. So now Coverland is telling us uh, that the software is installed. Let's double check that. And there it is, Java 7 Update 40. We can go ahead and remove this um, because we're going to now do a test with um, installing software on multiple machines. So we're going to use a, go ahead and use a scope action to install on this same series of machines. Now scope actions are um, just complex versions of custom actions. They allow you to define a series of machines. So here we're going to do a new scope action and we'll call this install Java 7 update 40. We will select our machines. Uh, we'll select our machines here and um, as with scope actions you can use a wide variety of ranges. In this case we'll choose an OU. Now let's click next and here we're going to choose our execute computer action and we'll use the search menu here just to shorten the the screen. So we'll go to software products and install software package. So now the same way we did it with the custom action, we will choose our package and click OK. Next. Um, in this case here, you're probably going to want to keep running until all nodes are processed. Um, that way everything is done. You'll have to define your run as account and so on. Um, but for, for the one time on demand, we'll select do nothing after it runs. And then we'll click finish. And now Governland is going to go ahead and install the software on all the machines that were in that OU. Now for the interest of time here, we're going to speed it up a little bit. Um, I have about 15 machines in there and it should take, um, depending on your network traffic, uh, probably about two or three minutes to do that. Uh, but through a little movie magic here, we're going to speed it along. Okay, so now um, it's uh, finishing up the scope action. So here we'll see the execution report. We can see that it completed on 12 of the 14 machines. Uh, two of them, uh, I know one of them is offline and the other one is out of disk space. So you get to see the exception list here as well. Um, just in case it didn't uh, wasn't able to install on a machine for any reason. Now what we'll do is we'll go back and uh, we will check our installation. So we'll go to software products and here we can see that we now have Java 7 update 40. So what we've done is we've in, uh, created some software packages, uh, showed you how to do some on-demand installations and how to do it on a group of machines. Um, so that's basically how you get uh, software installed remotely with Govalan. Thank you very much for watching and check out our other videos. Um, have a good day.